Hey man, say man, welcome back to another episode of Scrooge the Media TV. I had to come report on this sad situation that happened last night during the Cincinnati Bengals and Buffalo Bills football game. Second year safety, DeMar Hamlin out of Pittsburgh University made a routine tackle on T. Higgins, you know, during the kickoff. And he got up and shortly after he collapsed. Um... When I first saw the play, you know, um, I'm thinking, you know, he probably got a concussion, you know, um, you know, you know, maybe, you know, you know, on the uh, typical concussion protocols that the league and stuff go through. So I didn't I didn't um, initially think it was a big deal as far as like it was going to be to where he had a cardiac arrest situation and stuff like that. So, um, you know, they gave him CPR on the field. They brought the ambulance on the field. Um they was able to restore his heartbeat before they left the field. And, um, you know, the players on both sides were um, definitely um, emotional about it. Um, the players didn't want to play. So I'm glad the NFL, uh, you know, went on and, you know, decided to postpone the game to another date. Um, you know, it's just a sad situation, man. Uh, I played football. I wasn't the best, but definitely, you know, I had injuries and stuff. You know, I've been hurt on the field, you know, and, and if you look at the tackle, the tackle didn't really seem like it was like a, a like a hard hit tackle or that DeMar Hamlin got hit hard, you know, trying to um, make the tackle. So, but that just shows the um, the violent nature of, of playing football anyway. So, um, I'm just glad, you know, that, you know, he has a heartbeat, you know, um, he's still in uh, critical condition. You know, that's what the reports are saying this morning. But um, I'm just glad, you know, he's all right. You know, um, his life is more important than a football game, man. So that's what happened last night. He was making a routine tackle, um, you know, and he had cardiac arrest, you know, from getting hit in the chest, I guess, at the wrong location, wrong time. I'm not too sure. I'm not a doctor, but that's what they said, that that's where the cardiac arrest um, came from. So prayers up to him, prayers up to the to, – to the Bills players, to the Bengals players and coaches and, you know, stuff like that, man. And for the fans that was at, that was at the game, they had to see that. So um, just a crazy situation, man. Um, you know, football is definitely a violent sport. We all love football, but it's definitely violent, man. And, um, you know, I think the NFL made the right call to postpone the game. I know it was a big game. You know, both of these teams, you know, fighting for the one seed in the AFC, but a situation just seemed more bigger than that. So, Prayers up to DeMar Hamlin, man. Um, you just hate to see it, man. And um, I'm just glad, you know, um, you know, you know, they was able to get his heartbeat back going. You know, I don't know what's gonna happen from here, but they still say he's in critical. He, he's still in critical condition. Um, so you know, obviously they still gonna be doing tests and stuff on him. But you know, just prayers out to that guy, man. You know, you definitely don't want to see this. And then his mom was at the game, so imagine what she's going through. You know, she came to support her son and. You know, he left in the ambulance, man. So just prayers up to him, man. But like I said, you know, they say he had from that from that hit gave him cardiac arrest, which which is which what caused him to collapse after he stood up. I'm not too familiar on the details of cardiac arrest and and, and how it happens, but he definitely collapsed. And once a player do that, you definitely have to, you know, see what's going on. So like I said, prayers up to Demar Hamlin, man. Definitely a sad situation, man. You know, so. We all pulling for you, bro, and, you know, just hope you make it through this situation, man. One love.